Yo, what's good, yeah? I just wanna show you this. I know I always say this, I wanna show you this, but I have to show you guys all these videos cause that niggas be slumped up or all high and drunk. And y'all just don't even care about what be happening in the world. And y'all be wondering why your tax is so high and why your job sucks or whatever. But this is uh, Alex Jones. I don't know if y'all niggas know. Y'all probably do. But Alex Jones back then, supposedly, he infiltrated or he secretly went inside the Bohemian Grove. Now, if you don't know what the Bohemian Grove, I'll just make it up fast. They went, it's a, it's a, for a place in a forest in California where all these top politicians or Bush or supposedly Reagan or other people was there. But they be having like secret meetings and they be doing all these rituals and they be all, all hooded up like KKK stuff. It's some weird stuff, just like the video I posted not long ago about George Bush secret society. So that's what it is, some secret society BS. And they be low key with this. Nobody know about this. Everybody be worrying about partying or you know listening to music or whatever. I don't even care. They got us all sucked in in the television, all programmed. That's why it's called TV program. They programming you to be dumb. But this dude exposed one of the politicians that was inside the Bohemian Grove. And listen to, oh, uh, just listen to it. Hey, Mr. Gurgi, can we talk to you for a second? Uh, where are you from? I'm Alex Jones. I have a TV show in Austin. I make documentaries. Well, just a few questions about the convention. Yeah, yeah well, is there a camera? Or are you... Yeah, right there, just about. Yeah, but I just want to get your permission first. Here. Okay, okay, this is looking like I've, I've got... No, I understand. Just a minute or two. Okay, great. You see, he already scared. The dude is like, ah, oh, this guy makes documentaries. Once, you make, once you're a person that makes documentaries or into documentaries, people know like, oh, this is one of those conspiracy guys. They're about to get me. That's why he wanted to get out fast, but he was like, you know what? Let me not make it hot, boy. Let me just see what he's going to say. But listen to this. We're talking to David Gergen, and he has advised several presidents. Look up David Gergen. G E R G E N. David Gergen. Look at his face already. He's like, damn, they got me. This, of course, has uh, written quite a few uh, books and uh, is a, I would call you a political pundit or researcher. Okay. Commentary at Over the Hill, whatever. Okay. Uh, how long have you been in New York? About six, four hours. What do you think of this circus? Well, I haven't seen all the protests yet, but I've never seen as much security for a convention as we have here. And it's, uh, you know, the city's uh, almost closed down. I think it's remarkable. I think it's an unfortunate turn for politics that we have to have this many police around. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, news articles and reports saying that there's a heightened risk of terror attacks. Uh, do you think that that's, uh, do you think there's a chance of that? Or? I think, well, listen, they just arrested, uh, I think, or broken up some plot, uh, allegedly, to uh, somebody wanted to blow up subways. Yeah, I think it's a very real danger. And you've got the Madison Square Garden is sitting right, you know, basically on top of a uh, train station. And Boston uh, Convention was right on top of a train station. Yeah, I just have to remember that trains are very uh, accessible, vulnerable. And that's what happened in Spain. They went after trains and they blew some trains up. So, and it wasn't very expensive. So... I think there's that danger, but I think the police are on top of it. They're treating this as a special security event, which means there's a, not only the, 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 the obvious police around, but believe me, there's a lot of private stuff going on here. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 19... Uh, 96 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor they were the Republicans were criticizing you oh what about Bohemian Grove and then you counter uh, and then you countered them by saying hey I don't run around in the woods naked what did that mean here is the before mentioned Washington Times article where he said I didn't run around naked like they do I don't, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to I'm not aware of any quote like that uh, listen uh, I, I am uh... see him getting nervous right why are you getting nervous bro Keep watching though. This is where Alex Jones exposed a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, a happy member of the Bohemian.
Disney Grove. I like the, uh, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Hmm, I wonder why. Because they be doing a lot of satanic ritual stuff, right? They be doing a lot of homo shit too, hmm? Keep watching. Thanks. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Wow. Oh, really? You see? I thought he didn't know about it. He bought you. This right here, they they doing some ritual to some owl, some freaking devil god that these wicked people believe in. And the scary part of this is, is that, that that name Moloch is mentioned in the Bible. It's crazy. Keep watching. For the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do what? Look at his face, too. He's upset. He was like, it was him. I do. There's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't we deserve to know? You, you took it. I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? Okay, you, public officials. You, I'm sorry. You public. took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put yes, one after it. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. But it was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? That's that's what all your top politicians do. Hillary Clinton, or George Bush. Yo, all these people be doing some evil stuff. And they think you're not going to wake up, that people are not going to be looking into this stuff. Keep watching. Sir, everything, I, you, I, I, don't, I don't owe you this comment. I know, I you, 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 you have, you, this is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you and goodbye. The ritual? It's none of your damn business. He could have just said no. He said, nah, it's none of your business. It's like you telling somebody, yo, do you steal something? And they'd be like, no comment. Yo, we got to wake up, yo. I'm going to have to wake all of y'all up. That's why I'm putting all these videos so y'all can see. Something big is happening. 9-11 was the start of this, too. That's why they put so much security stuff. That's why you got so much cameras in your freaking building lobby and everywhere in the city. Just to push laws on you. Keep pushing laws, keep pushing laws. At the end, it's all to get you microchip. And look what they're doing now. Your boy Bill Gates wanna microchip you. Wake up, y'all.